features to make your iPhone 10 run faster on a lock screen is raise to wake and you also have tap to wake. In order to make sure that both of these settings are turned on, you will need to go to settings. The first one is in display and brightness under raise to wake. Strangely, the other setting isn't in the same place. You will have to go to general, then accessibility and scroll all the way down until you see tap to wake. So make sure those are toggled on and you get both of those features. Quickly use the torch without having to unlock the device. Simply bring up the lock screen and then force touch on the torch in the bottom left hand corner. Now, when you're in an application, you don't have to go back to the home screen to get to another application. What you can do is swipe on the bar at the bottom here, and this will quickly switch between different applications. You can swipe forward through them, or indeed go back, depending on which application you want to look at, which is already currently open on your device. To bring up your recent applications, you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen and hold for about half a second, and now I have access to all my applications. But you can do this slightly quicker and more stylishly if you do a a swipe arc. What I mean by this is if I quickly swipe from the bottom left hand corner into the middle of the screen, that brings up applications slightly quicker than doing it with a swipe up and pause. Takes a little bit of technique, but eventually you should be able to do it every time. If your application is open, in order to close them, you need to long press on one, and then you'll see a off sign here. But you can turn off applications more quickly by just swiping them away. Moving applications on iOS devices used to be a complete drag because you could only pick up one application and then move it at a time. But now you can move it several by picking up an application first and then tapping on other applications to stack them on top of each other. So now I have four applications, drag it to another home screen and bang, four applications moved all at once. Once you've finished moving your applications, instead of tapping done, you can swipe up from the bottom of the page to quickly finish. You can set up the lock button to do special functions on triple click, but that does require some setup. In order to do that, to go to settings, then general, accessibility, scroll all the way to the bottom of this screen and then accessibility shortcut. So now if I toggle on reduce white point and then triple click the lock button, as you can see, it's lowered the brightness. If I try this with smart invert colors, that's going to turn on dark mode. Now if you toggle on two of these, such as reduce white point and smart invert colors, when I triple tap the lock button, you have an option to choose which one you want to turn on or off. So it's a very quick way to access special functions, depending on which you would prefer to use. Now, although you can't get a physical home button, you can get a on-screen home button. In order to do this, go to settings, then you would need general accessibility. This time we are going to assistive touch. If you turn it on, you'll see a white dot or similar appear. And now you need to do a bit more customization by going to customize top level menu, deleting all of the icons that are currently there. And with one left, change that to home. So now that will act as a home button just like that. You can put it down at the bottom of the screen if you want to, in the same place as where the home button traditionally would be, and then you can tap on it to go back to the home screen. So if you want it and you think it's faster, there we are. Now, if you wanted to add several actions to the assistive touch, what you can do is go to customize top level and change the home action to custom. And then you can start messing around with the gestures here, such as single tap taking a screenshot, We've got the double tap taking us to the control center. We have long press going to multitask. And finally, we have the home button accessed through a 3D touch. There you go. In many applications, if you're scrolling down a very long list, you can simply tap on the top bar to jump back to the top. Force Touch is a very powerful tool to quickly get you stuff when you are using the home screens. For example, if I Force Touch on Instagram, I get all sorts of features. If I Force Touch on the weather, it will show me different cities which I could add. Again, if you go to the control center, I could Force Touch on the camera to jump to different options. Even on the torch, Force Touch on there to get different levels of brightness. So Force Touch on many icons to see what you can do with them. Now, of course, the iPhone 10 is a very big screen and you might not be able to reach everything with one hand, but you can shrink an application temporarily by swiping down on the home bar like that. 
it will stay reduced as long as you use it but then if I leave it for a couple of seconds it will go back to normal size you do need to turn this on however by going to settings and then going to accessibility on general and you should have the reachability toggle right there if you are running low on power you can go into low battery mode by going to settings and then tapping on battery and there is your toggle however there is a much quicker way of getting access to this by going to the control center customizing controls scrolling down to low power mode adding that to your control center so that now no matter where you are on your device simply swipe down to get the control center and you've got low power mode right there you can zoom in and out of maps very quickly with one hand simply double tap hold and then you can move your finger up and down to do a zoom action very quick and handy when you are out and about if you're struggling with the screen size and the size of a keyboard you can change it by going to a general scrolling down to keyboard you have one-handed keyboard you can turn it on for left or right I'll turn it on for right and then we will go into some text the keyboard has moved it slightly to the right now so I should be able to fit it easily in one thumb you can shift it off by tapping the arrow but then you can also long press on the emoji at the bottom and then you can turn on for left or right handed keyboard just there now if you enjoyed this bite-sized iPhone 10 guide then join me for the main course where I have 150 tips spread across all these categories served up in just 40 minutes thank you very much for watching enjoy the rest of your tech day bye for now